king and queen are coming to Downton. What? Obviously, the royal family come to visit, and sort of Mr. Carson is brought but out of retirement because they're kind of underwhelmed by Thomas's the way he's handling the situation. So Thomas sort of takes that to heart a bit and stands himself down for the duration of the royal visit. It's all systems go. We've got um, so much to deal with, to plan, to organise, me to delegate, 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 all these things. So it's it's a bit manic, really. Well, Mr. Molesley is very excited at the prospect of um, serving the King and Queen. You have to realise that back then, the prospect of seeing them in the flesh and even getting the chance to serve them, for some people, would have been sort of um, life-changing. No maid, no valet, no nanny even. It's 1927. <laughs> We're modern folk. He's a conservative by birth. His, his duty, his role in life is to conserve and preserve. It really, it's down to, the, as usual, the, the women who drag him kicking and screaming into the present day. As Julian explored Thomas's sexuality, we saw the inner battle, psychological battles he was having with himself. He, he, he puts barriers up, and it's because he's not allowed to be himself. And I think over the series, and definitely into the film, the audience, they're, they're rooting for Thomas now. She's come so far, she's so ambitious and, you know, <coughs> self-teaching and, and then uh, getting her education. It's amazing that she did that, she's come from nothing. What I like about Daisy, even right from the beginning though, she's always asked questions, yeah. she's always questioned always. everything right yeah. at the beginning. She's opinionated and changeable and interesting. I love um, the character, I think she's really well written. You are amazing, Violet. You haven't won, you know. I don't believe in defeat. Hugh is, uh, you know, the upstairs dad, and I'm the downstairs dad, and the, the mirror image of upstairs, downstairs, which you see in the logo, and the, the fact that both are given equal prominence. I mean, usually, I think in these things, the concentration is, is on the, the upstairs, but in here, both upstairs and downstairs are in the spotlight equally, which is one of the reasons for its success, I think. And I, I was really shocked by what our relationship was in the beginning, how she, you know, I was so scared of Mrs. Patmore and she would shout at Daisy and she was the boss, and but then she was the mum and now they're sort of friends. And sometimes, you know, the mum and the daughter, that kind of reverses when you get older and that's sort of what, what's happened. So yeah. it's very authentic, actually. Won't you help me? I feel I'm pushing a rock uphill. I'll be there in the morning, my lady. Don't you worry. You're a treasure, Carson, that's all there is to say. I'll see myself out. You could never refuse her anything. I think in our case, people root for us, if, if you see, because um, it gives people hope, like post-middle age love can blossom mm. and... I mean, we got together with the speed of tortoises, didn't we? <laughs> I mean, it took four years for us to hold hands and go for a paddle. Hours and, of television. You know, hours of television. And I think the, the fans in particular were, were, were very keen for us to get together, and it, it's nice. I feel like they're both characters that are kind of, especially Daisy, redefining herself in the house working out politically where she wants to be. Does she really want to be a kitchen maid forever? And, and Andy has to adapt around that as well and show that he's got enough about him to deserve someone like Daisy. So it does move along slowly, but, but Julian's so good at just a little line here, a little glint in the eye here, mm. you know, that you kind of know that they reconnect at the end of the film.